What's up, everybody? Welcome to Southern Life. We're currently in Alabama, but we're about to cross into Florida. We're on 231, south of Dauphin. And we're driving towards Florida. So we will be in Florida here briefly. And we'll give you guys a drive through rural North Florida, the Panhandle. We'll be driving in between Cottondale, Shipley, and Mariana. So we're heading south on 231. It's a rural drive, so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the drive. There's not a lot to say here. This is just a you know, beautiful drive. So we're not gonna go too, um, too excessive on the conversation here. Just enjoy your drive. We're almost to Florida. Almost to Florida. There's a little town called Graceville. But yeah, we're right we on. We are on the state line, the and Florida. we are now in Florida. Welcome to Florida man, Florida man. Welcome to Florida man. Are you a Florida man? Welcome to Florida man. Welcome, sir. It's 65 around here. I don't know if you knew that. Yes, I knew that. Lot of discount liquor. Yeah. Because in Alabama, they got different laws and stuff, so people come over here to buy a lot of tickets and liquor on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> we had to go all the way to Florida to get that liquor. And a lot of ticket. And a lot of ticket. That'd be a great cover for it, by the way. Yeah. Mangoes. They got mangoes for sale. Went from peaches to mangoes in a matter of two seconds. Yes. Florida is on my mind. I got Florida. A new color. Hey, this is Jose. Hello? I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know what happened. A new color. Hey, this is Jose. Ah, si. Sí. Como anda todo? Bien, ya estamos en la Florida. Ya estamos en la Florida. Faltan muchas cosas que hacer en Alabama, pero ya estamos aquí por, 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 por el tiempo. Bueno, faltan muchas cositas, pero ya estamos en la Florida nosotros, que es lo más importante. Sí, gracias a Dios. Oye, después, después hablamos, ¿viste? Ya cuando, cuando, cuando los queremos, cuando todo está, dale, bye. I dialed the wrong Miami number. Ah. Yeah. Create new contact. I think it's... Watermelons and peaches and tomatoes and mangoes and Campbellton! I was debating on whether to stop there. <laughs> I was debating whether you could go 65 miles an hour like this post and spay limit, women. I was debating if I'd listen to you. Well, there's no debating that you need to. Mm -hmm. So there's one thing I did take with me from Alabama. Mm -hmm. Meow. Hi, Jax. <laughs> No, it's not alright. You need to pass that moron. He's got this old stupid camper on the middle of the road and you don't pass him. The truck has to go first. Ran it off the road. It, it, it run me off the road. I'll run you off the road. Pass the dang thing. Keep it moving, man. Well, that thing has passed. Well, you thing. don't want to argue with me, women. Because I ain't never had a woman. Ah! <laughs> you are out of control. I'm pressing charges. Not 45 around here. Speed up. Slow down. Speed up. Slow down. Shut up. Speed up. Slow down. <laughs> that thing's oh, rust. Yeah, that rust bucket. Don't bad. That thing is a rust bucket, man. <laughs> Gotta be from up north. That thing is a rust bucket. Mm -hmm. We're in Campbellton, Florida. The gateway to Florida. Uh, man, I tell you what. Hang on. What's up with all the boiled peanuts? Oh, we're allergic to that. <laughs> yeah. This is a great cover photo. Boiled peanuts and stuff. It's right here. Get it right here. Boiled peanuts. We're 
both allergic to mold peanuts. Oh, let's get Jackson. Oh, we're in Jackson County. Yeah. Cool. You know, um, I was reading something about Jackson County. Mm -hmm. I just can't remember what it was. Mm -hmm. My eyes, like my eyes, like tingling. I feel like my eyes about to. Yeah. Explode. You feel it? Yeah. We'll get out of here soon. I think my eyes are about to explode. We're both allergic to peanuts. Yeah. So this town sucks. And you and your peanuts are discriminating me on pressing charges. Yeah. <coughs> I feel horrible. Yeah. Condell's 12 miles and Panama City 64. So if you want to live here, you'll only see what, an hour, a little bit over an hour to Panama City. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a solid advantage right there. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't deal with the politics of living out here. Yeah, true. It's probably the same exact thing as Alabama as far as dealing with people. Yeah. It might be. Have you ever heard the radio out here? Same thing. Yeah. Like, you're listening to Alabama Radio. MX, where we love everybody. <laughs> Get it? Real stage name. Oh, yeah. You're listening to FKMX, Alabama Radio. People have been asking us, what does FKMX stand for? It means friendly and kind towards Mexicans. <laughs> oh, yeah, bring them here. <laughs> Oh, man, like it's the same exact, you know, type of stuff as Alabama. It really is North Florida, especially the Panhandle. I think yeah. it's probably worse actually than Alabama. I don't know. It's just not my cup of tea. I'd rather have a cup of Cuban coffee, a beach, a bunch of New Yorkers hawking the horn at me and flicking me off. Man, I miss New Yorker. I wish I could. I I miss being flicked off by a New Yorker. I mean, I mean, I do. You can't like flick. You can't argue with like rednecks here in Alabama. Like they'll shoot you. Yeah. Like in the Florida, you know, a New Yorker flicks you off, and you can say whatever you want back to them because they're from New York. They're not gonna do anything. In Alabama, you can't do that. Remember that one guy in traffic? He like got out of his car, parked his car to scream at someone. It's like the perfect camera. chance yeah. to carjack somebody too. Yeah. Like, do they ever think that they're in Florida? Like, you get out of your car, leave the door open, and go scream at somebody else. Like, some homeless guy jumps in your car. He's like, "Yeah, man, I'm gonna get a big ball for this one." <laughs> That's wrong. We ain't right. But neither is the world we're living in. Yeah. I love these rolling hills. Speaking Great. of that, that one house for sale is out for, up for sale. Oh, the one with your uh, yeah, story. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Nice cows. You know, that semi-truck driver, he, he'll run you over. Yeah. So if you can speed up a little bit, he'll appreciate it. He's actually working. What are you working on? Falling asleep while you're driving? Driving. Driving you. I don't like the way you're driving. I might, even, I might just get out and walk home. I can accommodate that. You would? Yeah. Dang, that's considerate of you, woman. Oh, yeah. You're lucky we're in Florida. If we're in Alabama, I could just beat you right on the spot, and then when you call the cops on me, they'll arrest you. In Alabama, the person that calls the cops gets arrested. Yeah. <laughs> Most states will come arrest the person who did a crime. Alabama, you call the cops, the cops will arrest you like, you wasting my time, boy. Come here. You called the cops. Who called the cops? You didn't come here. Hit you upside the head and throw you in the back of the car. Yeah. Next time you're a victim, you're going to think twice about calling the law. Yeah. That's, that's how it goes. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Unbelievable. It's pretty up here. Beautiful country. Just gorgeous. I think it's the time of year. The way the sun's setting. Gator jerky. 
Yeah, buddy. Get that dang gator off the road, man. I'm going to miss Jax. Local honey and gator jerky. I'm already interested. Yeah, I know, man. That's the one Old thing. Peanuts. Oh, peanuts. I'm not interested about that. What's this guy got? A uh, hand dipped ice cream. Hand dipped ice cream, man. Let's see what else they got. What do you think? Okay, who's got better honey? Florida or Alabama? I would say Alabama. Yeah, I think the honey's better. Although, the honey in Wachula is way better than I've tried this one. Tupelo honey. Tupelo honey? Is that what it's called? No, they have Tupelo honey here. Yeah. So you think overall Alabama's got better honey than Florida? Amish pickles. You think Alabama's got better honey than Florida in general? I don't know. church in there. That's old. That's cute. We are, so from I-10, we are to Naples, Florida, we are... Okay, sir, why would I be going from Naples, Florida to Naples, Florida? Obviously, I need you to use my location. What the crap, <laughs> sir? It's exactly seven hours to Naples. Okay. In 1,000 feet, turn right. Turn right onto Florida 73 South. It's starting to see horses. Mm -hmm. But Alabama, they don't even have horses in Alabama. Yeah. Like, have you seen any horses in Alabama oh, at all? Florida Fairly. 73 South for seven miles. Fairly. Yeah. They don't even have horses in Alabama. Mm -hmm. Like, you gotta cross into Tennessee or, or, or Florida and start seeing horses again. There's some there right in Millbrook, and, and they're not really like well cared for. It's just like there. Yeah. There's some in Millbrook, and there's some in the east side of Montgomery, but it's not a whole lot. Yeah. You start to see changes, like as soon as you cross that border. Like if that was sure, like in Florida, you see plant, you see like agriculture, you see animals. 
Alabama, for some reason, is a stalled out state. People don't want to work. The laws don't, like farm workers. Do you really think a US citizen is gonna be a farm worker? Not a chance in the world. You know, like Florida is not, doesn't have that racist law. The uh, HR 56 that Alabama has. So as soon as you cross into Florida, you see farmers, watermelons, you see people selling mangoes, you see people raising animals. Bro, in Alabama, there's no agriculture and there's no, um, no agriculture, no animals, livestock, none of that. It's like as soon as you cross into Florida or Tennessee or Georgia, you start to see like people working and farming and stuff. Like Alabama has like destroyed the farming culture of the state. There's none left. Like I grew up listening to music. From, I, mean, I, I was fascinated with Alabama. Like literally fascinated with Alabama because I was listening to music like from the 70s about Alabama. You know what I mean? Yeah, growing up, my favorite movie, one of my favorites was Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah. Like, we glamorize this place. And the reality of it is that it's not as glamorous as we thought it was. Like, dude, as soon as you cross into Tennessee or Florida, you start to see people working, people picking watermelons, people picking this, that, 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 that. Like, Alabama has, like, for some reason tried to, like, destroy, like, look how many animals are here. You start to see, you come in the floor, you start to see horses, cows, watermelon, sugar cane, um, cotton, uh, everything. Like, here's the hail, bale hay, people's on hay. Like, people actually are working their land, you know? But, uh, man, Alabama, the, the state laws have, have, uh, I don't know why, but the states really, and I believe it's just that they 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 didn't they don't they they have so much hate for outsiders, and the locals don't want to work. So it's kind of like like it's called it's called eating your own hands, you know. Like it's a state that's eating its own hands. It doesn't want to. It, it would rather not have an industry than to have an industry that has people from other places, you know. Yeah. But they're only hurting themselves by doing it. And at the end of the day, Florida has lower crime rates. It has uh, higher uh, incomes in some parts. Um, definitely higher real estate. Um, <laughs> you know, Alabama has lower incomes because of, of the one percent. When you take away the one percent, Alabama actually has higher income. So for regular working class people Alabama is way better if you're just like a regular working class person like if you're a poor working class person but you'll see when you cross state lines that every state has different laws and those laws affect the economy uh, the culture the landscape I mean every state's got something different going on you know like you cross into Texas as soon as you cross into Texas you start to see stuff you don't see in Arkansas Every state has its own package. And within that package, like Texas is attracting people. Florida's attracting people. Tennessee's attracting people. Alabama is rejecting people. You know? Every state has different policies and different attitudes towards different things. You know, every, every state's got something different going on. But I do feel that Florida, North Florida and South Florida, look how beautiful the house is. North Florida and South Florida are so distinctive from each other that I wonder if eventually Florida needs to be two different states because the southern region of the state is so different from the northern region. And, you know, most Floridians know that. Where's Mariana now? Mariana City Limits. <laughs> North Florida. It's more similar to George, South Georgia and South Alabama than it is to the South Florida. I mean, South Florida is its own beast. But it all works as one state, interestingly enough. I think anything north of I-4 is North Florida. And anything south of that is South Florida. 
I-4, I even though you got Tampa and Orlando could probably be South Florida, and probably, yeah. I think you could probably draw a line from Daytona. Honestly, Daytona would be, eh, Daytona's right in the middle. You think Daytona's South Florida or North Florida? It's right down the middle. South Florida? Yeah, Even Jacksonville is kind of like South nah, Florida. Nah, it's Jacksonville. It's starting to become South Florida yeah. because all the people from South Florida are getting pushed out. Exactly. Yeah. And it's going to be South Florida everywhere in Florida eventually. Yeah, people are getting pushed out. I think even now, like Keystone Heights, Ocala, it's starting to become South Florida. Yeah. Because people are getting pushed out. Mm -hmm. Pushed out, pushed out. That line, even like Live Oak, around like Live Oak is, is already. And there's like that uh, stretch of. I heard something. What? GPS. <laughs> is it talking very good? Alright, so up ahead, mm -hmm. we're gonna pull a U turn because we're driving in the wrong direction for about 20 minutes. My bad. Jose. Yeah, just keep going, McLaren. Okay, I think we'll go, we'll go left here. Is that the horse truck again? I'm gonna miss Jax. Jacks. Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna miss the slow speed of life. Yeah. Sometimes. I'm gonna miss the slow speed of life. Like when I'm like I almost wanna get out now that I live in Florida. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you could go, this car's all turning. Okay. Sure, no. No, 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 for you. Yeah, if you had gone. I mean, wow, that, that guy's speeding. Yeah. Wait for after the uh, after this exploring you can go. go 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 whatever the crap that is a Bronco mm -hmm. man it looks like a so we're in Marianne again so up ahead you're gonna take a right hand turn something stinks here take it again the right lane yeah uh, left right left right 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 left right 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 Right? Right? At the light, take a right. At the light, take a right. At the light, take a right. At the light, at the light, at the light, take a right. At the light, take a right. At the light, right, 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 right. Take a right. Take a right. Take a right. Take a right. Not this light. Not this light. This light. This light. This light. No, 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 like, 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 Take a right, I thought I'd like take a right, 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 right. Katie is driving very, very slow. People behind her want her to go. Katie is driving really, really slow. People behind her really want to go, go, go. But Katie won't move. I told her get out the road. 35. But she's going slow, but she's going slow. I told her to go, but she's going slow. Ow! But she's driving slow. I told her to go, but she's driving slow. I told her to move, I told her to get, but she will not stop. It's so disrespect. The people behind her got places to go, but she's driving slow. And she's driving slow. The people behind her get infuriated. I told her to move, the people be hating. A guy passed by, flicked her off. I agree with him. Nowhere to go. 
Gate is going so slow. You thought she was driving through a school zone. I was. Are those the projects? Are those the projects? No. Oh, man. Which, what, is that projects? Or? No. Military housing or project? What is it? Prison. Oh, no. Well, that's not nice. Is it a prison? Yes. It's a prison. Oh, dang. It's a prison. Oh, that ain't right, man. I was like, I want to go check that place out. And I was like, a prison? Yeah. Look at the pop out. He's hiding. Watch out, sir. Man, bro, you were speeding past the cop. Now you're going to get pulled over, man. I wasn't. I was, try I was trying to tell you not to do that, bro. Now you're going to get pulled over. I told you, follow the speed limit. What's I was trying to tell I you? I was going less was, than the speed limit. I, was t I made a song about you following the speed limit. Katie, please, don't break the law. We don't need a ticket. Please follow the law. Please follow the law. Please go 35. I, I even made a song about you following the speed limit. <laughs> Can you shut up? Can you what? You gonna respect me, women? No. Huh. Huh. Daddy. Katie's about to get on Interstate 10. The way she drives, people she offends. You stopped. Probably not. Probably not. The answer's no. The answer's no. I can't stop. I really, really know. I know myself. I can't stop now. In a quarter mile, turn left onto the I-10 East ramp to Tallahassee. Take a turn towards the state capitol. KD drives slow, like she's on Adderall. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you about the way she drives. People behind her might think she's died. Turn left onto the I-10 East Ramp. Well, we don't need you know anymore, Siri. <laughs> we got it from here. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah! What the crap, bro? Forget about a roller coaster, just like KD drive. I must have felt like 10 G's when you did that. The way she drives will make it very scary. People behind her think it's a fairy. Cause she's driving like she's on the water. She does what she wants to her, don't matter. You're about to incorporate into a highway. But she's driving slow anyways. Now she steps up to like 5,000 revolutions. The way she no, drives no, no, no. causes people pain and pollution. <laughs> people behind her, her people behind her want a solution. No, I got a hybrid. But there is none. The way she drives and fear rates me. Maybe I could drive and be safely. Yeah, maybe you're good. You're not getting out of this. You think because you drive bad you're gonna get out of this? Not even remotely. I, I got us all the way to here. Now it's your turn to drive. I, I've had I know. Right, woman. That's why I'm driving. 64 miles to the state capital. Boom. Wow. Boom. Bustic. I'm not driving to Duval. Duval? Want to go to Jacksonville? Want to go to Jacksonville? Duval, we'll be there by nighttime. Yeah, let's go to Duval, that's a good idea. Maybe Orlando. Continue on I-10 East for 159 miles. I'm GPSing Naples, though. Yeah. Who knew? Who knows where we'll go? It's like that one reggae song. Who knew? Where'd they go? So now we're on Interstate 10. The way she drives, I don't comprehend. Even though she's using both hands, people behind her think she's using no hands. <laughs> they, it's like everybody by the passes, she looks at you like, what the crap is that drunk kill baby driving? Yeah, buddy, you saw that Silverado? Going towards the sunset. You can tell like there was like a massive hurricane come through here. It's like, oh, they're moving down the floor. Look at all the stuff they got packed. Mm. Oh, they're from Florida. Man, just on vacation. All right, guys. That's a drive through the Florida Panhandle. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe immediately. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.